What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be doing part two of the second battery install. And so in the last video, we mounted the second battery. And then today's video, we're gonna be wiring the second battery and installing a new alternator. So let's get to it. What we'll need for today's install is a roll of zero gauge wire for the battery install and using some of that for the alternator as well. And secondly, we're going to be upgrading the alternator. And I chose to go with the MacMan 370 amp Elite Series. It's, it has a little billet face. And I chose red because I think it'd go pop underneath the hood. Make it stand out. And in the box, along with the MacMan alternator, you get instructions and a wiring harness to adapt to the factory plug. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. And then before that, I want to get some uh, quick uh, before voltage shots to compare with the new alternator installed. So 14.1 is our idle voltage. And now I'm going to rev up the engine and see at to 2000 RPMs and see what it is at. alternator and see what we get afterwards so first we're going to be installing the new alternator so for that we're going to go on the installation guide here and it tells us to disconnect the negative uh, post on the battery we're going to do that off camera and undo the belt and take out the two bolts holding the alternator in which is one right here and then one on the other side over there. I think I might take the shroud off to, so y'all can see better. All right, so I went ahead and took the fan shroud off, took off the ne negative post on the battery, uh, disconnected the plug on the alternator, as well as those hot cables on the back. So now all we have to do is release the tension off the tensioner pulley and get the belt off. And then we'll be ready to take off the bolts. All right, so I got the old alternator out. And now we're going to install the MacMan, so let me do that real quick and I'll show you how it looks afterwards. Update guys, I got the MacMan alternator installed. My phone died in the process and I got caught up in the work, so I continued working. So what I did was I installed it, put the belt on. I ran this, is which is the ground post from this one, all the way to the negative post over there, which it ends right here. That hooks up to the negative post on the battery, which it used to be the positive, but now it's the negative because I have green wire to identify as the positive. So on the back side of the alternator, I ran the positive wire and currently I'm running it and cutting it to length. So that's where we're at. I also went ahead and ran the this little yellow wire, the, uh, I guess the power on for the alternator. I think that's what they call it. Uh, I didn't do it pretty neat, but I tried my best. So I snaked it up along the green wire. It broke up over here. And I think sometime this weekend I'm gonna re redo this part cause I don't like that, but that's just for now. So that's where we're at. I just gotta cut this big green wire to length and we should be good to go. All right, so I got the green wire cut to length and we got it installed over here, connected pretty tight. So now we're ready to test the alternator. So let's test it out and see our new voltage. All right, so our new idle voltage is 14.8, which is a big difference. Now I did test run it off camera and it did hit 15 volts at one point but i don't i think i'm gonna have to re i'm gonna 
re-verify my voltage with a voltage meter off camera uh, to see make sure I even had it set properly so I'm gonna do that off camera fix that up but you can see our before and after already based from this results and the, the uh, first video I took so with that being said uh, the alternator install is done so now we're gonna uh, get the second battery wired in place so we can have longer performance on the audio side so we're installing our second battery and we're gonna need a large roll of wire and for ID purposes we're using two separate colors so and oh yeah and the fuse block so first thing we're gonna do is <clears throat> hook up uh, a end to the positive over here like so and we're gonna tie that down go along the firewall the back of the firewall install a inline fuse holder put that in place continue on uh, you know in the second part of the fuse holder and then run it over here into our positive on the battery so let's do that real quick and get her done so i got the first part of the uh battery cable installed which is from the positive to the first inlet of the fuse block and i am adding uh wire ferrules on the end to make a clean install so they'll just slide in and without you know uh, spread like making it crazy wire looking so i'm gonna slap that in and go from there all right so i got the power wire fully ran from the firewall all the way to the battery post over here and that sh we're done with that cable so now we're going to move on to the negative one so for the negative one it's going to be from the post to the frame on the truck itself which i'm going to do it somewhere in here right here and we should be done so let me do that real quick and yeah we'll be done all right so i got the ground ran from there ran it across and mount it to the frame right there i did scrape the paint off that and uh, i will add some spray paint here tomorrow because it's getting a little late right now so i'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera so yeah that's pretty much it for this video. We got the alternator installed and the second battery wired in. So it lo looks pretty good. Um, uh, let's get some after voltage of both batteries installed. So let's see what we get. All right, so I checked both voltages uh, on both batteries and I'm getting 14.93 for both of them. So getting a very good charge on both batteries so we should have a large amount of playing time so yeah that's it for this video guys hopefully it helped maybe give you an idea of how to run it maybe or how to maybe i don't know but that's it for this video uh we'll see you on the next one a little um sneak peek for the next video for the subscribers, let's see here. So the factory ABS plastic is plastic and it's ugly. Kind of like this one over here. And right now I'm currently working on wrapping the whole interior with this leather uh, material. And it's turning out pretty good. So that's what we're gonna be doing on the next video is showing y'all how to an idea of how to install this leather wrap so yeah we'll see you on the next one